Oh, we're from Charlie Company 407 BSB. We're a medical unit. We usually set up a level two aid station. In this situation, though, they're trying to take our guys out of the comfort zone and try to put them into a city like an urban tactical environment. We're at Range 68 on Fort Bragg. It's an urban range, about one square block of buildings. Um, and what we're here to do is we're here to train um, our medics on how they respond to casualty scenarios in this urban setting. The idea being like one of the line platoons such as White Falcons in this example has a CCP that's overrun. They need other medics to come help them but there's still enemy activity in the area. Our guys are in the streets, they're in the fighting for this one. Um, we started out, you know, we started out rough. And you're choking him! You just you killed the casualty! He's dead. He's dead! You just killed him! But they, they improved a lot. They've improved both in their tactical skills, their ability to shoot, move, and communicate. Keep clear. Keep on. Move, move. Roger. And then also in their medical skills, you know, how they go through their sequence of events. Take my scalpel. Take your hand. Make it one inch incision. It just keeps them in the moment and keeps them able to save lives. Being put into a place that we've never been before, especially with buildings that we don't know and aren't familiar with. Um, it gives us a better idea of what we can encounter in another country. We were taking fire. There was huge open windows. The biggest problem was like trying to get security, balance security with actual medical treatments. We're trying to get medics on, people that actually do hands-on and do good tactical field care, care under fire. We don't have time to do an IV. We'll have to do when we get there. Get them packaged up. Um, we're also integrating UTM, which is a paint type round that we fire out of our rifles. It takes the training value way up in that when you get hit with that, it hurts. You know that you got hit and you know that what you're doing isn't appropriate and you have to change positions and you know, do it a different way. You know, right now they work at the Roll 2 treatment facility, but... One day they might go down to the line units and they're going to be doing this a lot more. So it's a really good for especially the young guys coming out of AIT, they actually get to see that tactical medicine, that field medicine. It really just enhances our skill set, gives our guys the base knowledge on how they treat trauma at the point of injury level. And whatever the incident is that they're responding to, it gives them a broader base to just be more successful. All right, Bert's coming in right now. We've all come together as a team, and it's nice. I actually hope that if we do come back on GRF or in the future, we get to do more training like this. <laughs>